We begin with the arrest of the former CEO of FTX, Sam Bankman Fried. The disgraced founder of the collapsed cryptocurrency exchange was arrested Monday in the Bahamas. He's due in court today and is expected to be extradited to the United States. Xavier Walton joins us live with a look at everything we are learning as you are waking up this morning. Good morning, Xavier. Mitch, good morning. We are in front of the FTX arena where the Miami Heat play. Uh, but after the crypto giant filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy last month, uh, you know, Miami has been trying to get that signage taken down. Still working to make sure that happens. But like you mentioned, former FTX CEO Sam Bankman Fried uh, waking up in a Bahamian jail. All of this uh, developing yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening, if you will, in the Bahamas, the Royal Bahama Police Force uh, arresting Bankman Freed without incident at the request of the United States government based on a sealed indictment filed by the Southern District of New York. Now, sources believe that indictment, the one we're talking about, will be unsealed later this morning. Then we'll get more insight as to the exact charges. Now, you'll remember last month after FTX filed for Chapter 11 and Bankman Freed resigned, a lawsuit was filed against the former CEO and a number of celebrities. You know, we're talking Tom Brady, Giselle Bundchen, Steph Curry, and Sheck. Uh, just a few, the suit alleging that FTX and Bankman Freed fraudulently shuffled customer funds between its affiliated entities, essentially creating this Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme. You know, more than a million investors um, losing out on hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars uh, when the crypto giant collapsed. And like you mentioned at the top here, Mitch, we are working to find out uh, exactly when Bankman Freed is going to be extradited back to the U.S. Uh, but in the meantime, he is expected to appear first in Bahamian court later today, Mitch. <laughs> so he will not be testifying in front of Congress. That's good to know. Someone should let the folks on Capitol Hill know as well. That's Xavier Walton reporting live. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.